I'm asking, you're saying I'm the one that's here to argue and you're wearing a sign that says Charlie Kirk threatens lives and kills. Not and not I'm even, the one provoking disagreement. It's not an argument, it's a statement. Checking out, Charlie Kirk triggers salty leftists into storming off. Guys, let's get straight into this. Um, all right, I have 45 seconds to a minute if this is going to work out. Um, I want to say that you are hearing from people that are very frustrated. They are oppressed and they are very, very tired. You're hearing from people who are emotionally exhausted. And you are coming from a place of privilege. I don't expect you to have the same perception as they do, but you need to hear what they are saying. And from your language, you want to argue. And that is really unfortunate because these people care. And so what hurting. does your sign say, by the way? The alt-right threaten lives and kills. So it's somehow me that wants to argue and you say I threaten lives and kills? Wait, I'm sorry, what was the question again? No, I mean, I'm asking, you're saying I'm the one that's here to argue and you're wearing a sign that says Charlie Kirk threatens lives and kills. It's not and an I'm argument. the one provoking disagreement. It's not an argument, it's a statement. Also... No, you accuse me of wanting to argue with people and I'm saying you're the one wearing a sign accusing me of threatening lives and I've killing. I've been sitting there this whole time listening to you. I have not been the one that has been calling out. I ask that you give me the opportunity to listen to me as I have listened to you. I asked you a question. <laughs> so go ahead. You got the floor. Thank you. I will say this, I will say that you use the name of God and God is not with you and you are a false prophet and to those that, your influence, you are an oppressor, your influence was meant to be destroyed and so therefore I ask everyone to fulfill their destiny and give them hell. Oh, I'm sorry, my only question is to ask you to leave. Wow. Um, that escalated quickly, jeez. It went from like, you're arguing with people to like full like Jeremiah 14, 11, like I shall wrath upon thee that disagree with me. It's like, whoa, so that happened quick. Holy moly. Guys, this, this was, I feel the guys call me from, from a place of pain. Like you can see it in her face. Like she's, she was very, very emotional. Let's be honest. These kind of people, I, I really don't agree with them. Like, you know, they're not saying anything based on facts or based on anything logical. They're just saying it based on their feelings and giant pain. And these kind of people, if you just sit down with them and talk to them, they'll break up. Like, you can see it in her face. Like, she wants to cry out and I like, just breathe. Like, just, I, I, I honestly feel like Charlie Kek should not give up. Like, I love the fact that Charlie Kek not allow that gets to him because why would you call someone a false prophet? Charlie Kirk never said he was a prophet, but like he handled it well. But like, I honestly believe that she should, someone should check out for her. Like, she's someone that needs a friend or something like that. It should have to cry in because she's not really okay. Like, it's very obvious. You could see it in her face. The moment she started talking, you could see that she needed someone to like hug her or something like that. But guys, don't worry about this. Like, she just got to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.